What's up, where's your boy Iconic? Back again with another video. Yes, sir, we are back in the Iconic Studios, back with another banger, back with another review, man, of a special, special, special shoe. Before we get started with this review and this comparison, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the on feast, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching, man. Let's get into it. Boom, we have it here as you can see on the box. You read you reading the box right, bro. We got a box that says Reeves on this side. Reeves on this side, and on the top of the box it says Kai. Um, if you didn't see my other video um, that I just recently did, go watch that, my pickups for um, my birthday. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know what's in this box. Box level Reeves on this joint, Reeves Paris slash Air Kai. 85 high colorway is varsity red white black aka candy paint so first off uh shout out to the guy kai uh shout out to reeves man um i just want to say bro that projects that they've been putting together uh have been dope um i definitely feel like it's been a challenging process for them it's been a lot of good a lot of bad a lot of stuff that's been going into um this whole Air Kai, Air Kai wave that's been going on. It's been so much going on, bro, and them boys still holding strong. Again, um, I know everything isn't perfect, and I'm not here to make any excuses for nobody, but I definitely, definitely, definitely just want to pay my respect and say I'm proud of them boys just sticking to their guns um, and trying to do everything they can, man. I know sometimes it's all perspective. Something may look good to this person. Something may not look good to this person. And um, for me personally, with this specific shoe, I think I bought this maybe like a month and a half ago, maybe two months ago and I'm just not getting it and I understand how pre-orders work um, some some people didn't get a lot of their pre-orders some people are getting their pre-orders so again it's just one of those situations where um, again it's just it's, it's a big thing I know he's a smaller company trying to do big things and I eventually know that this process is gonna keep getting better and better and better um, people talk about stuff like this with especially with black businesses in general um, but um, people don't know that um, Nike Nike went through hell when they first came up. If you didn't read um, um, Phil Knight's memoir, um, Shoe Dog, go 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 read that book and really pay attention to that. Like nothing's perfect when you're trying to get into this world of designing sneakers or selling sneakers, anything like that. So at the end of the day, that's all I got for that. But yeah, man, y'all not here for me to talk too much about that. But here is the box for this shoe right here. I love the design. It is completely different from um, the other pairs that came out earlier um, when the first collection dropped. Uh, but here is the actual lid right here. Secondary, it does come with a lace bag. Um, another lace bag, it does say Reeves on it. Hopefully I'm saying his name's name right. I don't know if it's Revis, but I definitely think it's Reeves, so I'm going with Reeves. Uh, it is a nice little dust bag with that joint. Uh, paper, uh, I think it's still similar. It does say uh, Kai and has Reeves in there. Hopefully that's showing up on camera. It does say Reeves and then Kai. Flip down the paper and I, man, I'm not even gonna do my whole spill, y'all. Boom, boom, right here. We gonna jump right into it. As you can see right here, we do have the Air Kai um, slash Reeves in the Chicago colorway. And on top of that, it is patent leather. Excuse me, y'all, excuse me. But yeah, man, patent leather, basically Chicago Air Kai. And I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. A lot of differences from this specific model though. Um, I know with everything that was going on, I don't know if this has anything to do with it, but I know Jordan brand is patent, the Jordan one silhouette, um, and it's, it's small differences that's done to this shoe. I ain't gonna say it's all, they, it's just a whole total remake, but I would say I'll rip. I'm gonna tell y'all, man, it's not um, it's not like they completely changed the sneaker, but there are some differences for sure on the sneaker um, that I don't know if I paid attention before, or if they just had to, you know, do some adjustments and make it, you know, updated. So, um, off rip, let's do a quick review. Bottom, right here, one of the things that I definitely love, right? So this one right here, I believe it says, Reeves, boom, right there, like that, that's dope, bro. That's dope that they went crazy on that one. Let's see if that one, the other one said the same thing. Yeah, I think they said the same thing. 
I think they say the same thing. So boom, that's what's on the bottom right here. As you can see, um, it does have Reeves on the bottom. I like that they, that they switched up, put their own name on the sole. That's extremely dope. Um, it just definitely gives it a different tie from the Air Jordan. One, instead of having that little imprint in the middle, um, they do have Reeves on the bottom. Um, midsole, midsole, and this is red um, on my oh, no, uh, actual sole, but midsole is that cream vintage tan look. Um, I love that he does that with the OG85 high Kai's because it just gives it that older look, that older vintage look that we want so bad from Jordan Brand, but they won't give us um, a, a, a Chicago 85 high or anything close to a Chicago because of, or anything close to a Chicago because the hype that's so surrounded by the uh, Chicago one after the, um, I definitely believe that at some point they were gonna re-release it, but I feel like the last dance just really bumped up the hype because the ones were so popular. So I definitely don't see that coming out anytime soon because they're gonna try to milk that. <laughs> Get to the upper. Upper is all patent leather. Um, I don't expect for this shoe to feel the greatest because it's patent leather. Um, I'm not gonna, I, I haven't tried on yet, so hopefully when I do my own feet and stuff like that, um, I'll be able to give you like a real review of how it would feel. Never have been really a big fan of patent leather, just to be completely honest, y'all. Never been a big fan of patent leather, but with these, I just felt like I had to have them. I wish I had the original ones that was like, uh, the Chicago base and it was leather, but I'm okay with the patent leather. I, I, I definitely want to go for that. Um, as you can see, you got the mostly red patent leather all the way wrapped around the toe cap. Toe box is white. It does come with black laces and it is a set of white laces that come with this as well. So this is what you should expect in your actual box. Um, lightning bolt is all black. Side panels on the lateral and medial side are white. Um, you do have red around the ankle and the heel of the sneaker and at the top of the uh, heel of the sneaker it is black. You do have some padding um, right here on the back which is in black. Um, tongue is white. Right there on there it does say, let's see, hopefully that focuses. Right there it does say Kai, uh, Kai right here with the bolt and behind it it does say Reeves. It is a white nylon tongue. This is the little paper that comes inside of it. Again, black laces. This is the insole right here, y'all. It does say Reeves, and this is in both um, insoles of the sneaker. Um, right here, it is uh, blue. Just kind of like that same reminisce of an Air Jordan 1. And right here on the inside, this is how it looks on the inside. Hopefully, y'all can see that. Probably not, but that's how it looks. It does have like, some little stitch and tape down. But, um, what I will say about this shoe, right, is that I think it's dope. Um, I know a lot of times, a lot of people want to give a lot of flack. Um, again, a lot of people say so much shit about how they hate this type of stuff, but they never gave bait the same energy. It's like when something gets hype and something gets going and gets some steam, it was like, oh, we got to find a reason to hate it. But nobody really talks about how bait has been doing this shit forever and it looks like an Air Force One. And I'm not trying to take away from bait because bait is definitely done what it needs to do but it's just like y'all gotta have that same energy bro like when Bape was hype everything looked vintage you know Wayne wearing it everybody was like oh you know this and that hyped about you know Pharrell and all them everybody just kind of ride that train but then when it comes to this it's a problem but you know that's neither here nor there but yeah man another thing I did notice and maybe this is on the same one maybe you can see that maybe not you can't see it let's see <laughs> Maybe you can see it, maybe you can't see it, but there is like uh, lightning bolts where the stars just usually are on the Jordan 1. Um, before I actually wrap this video up, I'm gonna do a quick comparison, not gonna be too long with that. Again, um, one of the biggest things I noticed off rip is the box. Box is totally different. So right here, you do have um, on the front, Statue of Liberty with the uh, COVID mask. You got all this different stuff going on on the riots, just different things all over this box, which is crazy, I love that. And then right here you got the regular, or the new updated Kai box that just has the lightning bolt across. And um, it just looks like it's somewhere in Houston or Texas, um, which which makes sense for the candy paint sneaker. Um, another thing that I did notice um, on this shoe, it does say Air Kai. Hopefully y'all can see that. Hold on, let me show y'all. Right there on the shadow joints, it does say Air Kai right there. 
and on this one it just says Kai. So I don't know if he, I don't, right here it says Kai. So I don't know if he did that or they did that just because of any other stuff that's going on. I'm just letting you know that the, that little minor stuff have changed. Um, on this one as well, like I told y'all, right here on the sneaker, it does have stars on the shadow and then you got lightning bolts on this one. So that's another little change of it as well. Um, I believe on the side of uh, this box, it does say Air Kai. And on this box, it just says Reeves. Reeves on both sides. Um, I believe the paper is still the same. Paper is still the same. Yeah, paper is still the same. There's no big difference there. Uh, dust bag. Dust bag is different a little bit. A little bit different, nothing too crazy, but that's different. And um, what else? Oh, the biggest thing I want to show y'all too, with this, bottoms. So if you look at the bottoms, you do have the Reeves right here, and then you got that standard kind of like OG Jordan 1 kind of feel for the shoe. And um, again, that's some of the changes that you have to look forward to when you're buying the new Kai. So I want to hear from y'all, man, what y'all think about this shoe. Um, is it hot? Is it not? I know a lot of people gonna give me flack in the comments, man, but I love it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. I fuck with it. Definitely a shoe that I had to grab. Um, I'm actually still on the fence about these. I love the quality on these. I love this shoe actually, but I have shadow ones and it's literally like almost the same thing. I'd rather have this. I'm trying to sell this or trade this for the other Houston pair, which is white, orange, and blue. If anybody has the uh, white, orange, and blue Houston pair and want to trade for this, let me know. If not, this is up for grabs so I can be able to buy that pair. So 10 and a half right here, best offer on this joint right here, but it's definitely a shoe that I like. I don't have to get rid of it. I'm not pressed to, but I'm definitely trying to get that Houston pair and would rather have the Houston pair over this one. So gang, y'all, thank y'all for watching, man. Let me know what y'all think about the shoe. Let me know what you think about the review. Let me know if, how you feel about it in the comments, man. I don't care if you hate it, if you love it. Let me know in the comments what you think. Um, do you think he need to stop it? Do you think, uh, you know, Kai should just push forward and do something different? I personally love the shoe. I love the concept. I love what he's doing. And I don't think it should stop, man. Um, I do want him to be careful with everything that's going on legality-wise. I don't think he's going to get sued. And I pray that he doesn't get sued. I hope he keep being able to run it up and keep giving us the blueprint and showing us that, man, create, make a product, and sell it. That's what America's built off of, baby. Capitalism. <laughs> don't ever get it twisted. So, yeah, man, that's it for this video. Thank y'all for watching, man. Before y'all go, y'all make sure y'all hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also that notification bell so you can stay in tune with the reviews, the own feats, the sneaker vlog, the sneaker news, and everything else that comes with the channel. Thank y'all for watching. Future belongs to those who prepare today. Till tomorrow, y'all. Peace. Perfect.